Hi there, this is Gavin from someRandomThoughts.com. So this is just a quick video looking at the new assignments activity which has been added for Moodle 2.3. Now this was a redevelopment of the other four assignment types merged into one more flexible activity. It is added to the Moodle 2.3 development brand and it is there in addition to the other existing assignments activity. So I'm logged in here as a teacher or as a good beer if you're from England. So let's turn editing on and add in a new assignment. As you can see, assignment is now an extra activity on the drop-down, so if we click into assignment, we can have a look at the new settings. So under general, you still have the assignment name, you have description, and the option to display description on all course pages. But let's have a look at all of the other settings now. For allowed submissions, if this is enabled, as before, students will not be able to submit before this date. But if it's disabled, students can submit right away. So for due date, this is when the assignment is due, and if late submissions are allowed, any assignments submitted after this date are marked as late. So for always show description, this means that you can have the description showing even before they actually can submit their assignment. If you disable this, it will only become visible when you have allowed submissions from date. For prevent late submissions, again, this is the same as before. Students will not be able to submit after the due date. However, if you disable it, they will be able to submit, but the submission will be marked as late. Require students click submit button. Now, if this is enabled, students will have to click a submit button to declare their submission as final. So before that, it's a draft. And this allows them to keep that draft version of the submission on the system and possibly update it. For sends notification to graders, if enabled, the graders, normally teachers, will receive a message whenever a student submits an assignment, early, on time, or late, and this uses a normal Moodle messaging system. If we move down then to the submission setting, well this is where it gets really interesting. The submission settings is where the options exist to emulate any of the four previous assignment types, but in a much simpler interface. You have online text, so if enabled students can type in the rich text directly into the editor, just like they could before for the online text assignment type. For file submissions, students are able to upload one or more files. And you can see here, this shows how you can also have the maximum number of uploaded files as well, from one up to 20. The maximum submission size, this just controls the size of each individual file. The submission comments, if you enable this, the students can then leave comments on their own submission. If used, this can let the students alert the teacher about which file is what. So let's have a look at the feedback setting. The feedback comments option, if you enable this, the marker can leave feedback comments for each submission. And as you probably guessed, for feedback file, if enabled, the teacher will be able to upload files with feedback for the student. Now this could be a marked up version of the student submission, or it could be an audio feedback. So if you're using the official My Moodle mobile app, you'd be able to record audio there and then link it in here as one of the feedback files. With the grading, it's pretty much the same as before. You have the normal grading options here, but also now you've got simple direct grading. You have a marking guide, which isn't yet fully complete, and the rubric, which was added in prior release. And you also got the grading category. So that's it. A quick run through the settings from the new assignment activity.